10 Underrated Aquatic Horror Movies That You Cannot Miss The ocean has always been a mysterious and scary dwelling ground for storytellers due to its vastness. The fear of the unknown also makes us wonder about the world underneath the waters. This led to the formation of a unique genre of horror movies that predominantly dealt with the threats from creatures underwater. The audiences have loved movies based on shark and crocodile attacks, but there is another section of films that deal with paranormal creatures. These creatures manage to strike fear thanks to the work of some excellent artists and studios. The protagonists are usually running from the dreaded creature and must somehow find a way to kill it off. Aquatic horror movies have been great crowd pullers, and as a result, the subject has intrigued several filmmakers. In this video, we will speak about some of the lesser known aquatic horror movies that you must watch. However, we must warn you that stepping into the waters will never be the same again. Before we go into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us, it means a lot. Thank you. Let's begin. There's something in the fucking airlock! Deep Star 6, 1989. While an underwater base was being created by U.S. Navy engineers, they somehow disturbed a monstrous creature. The monster attacks, but to make things worse, the means of escape become complicated since the facility is badly damaged. As the panicked members of the group become separated from one another, the creature picks off those who strayed. Can the crew manage to evade the deadly beast? While the story and creatures do not deviate much from the usual creature flicks, this film will ensure an entertaining time. The creature design in particular is pretty impressive, and the credit goes to the artists Chris Wallace and Mark Sostrom. With some cool effects and lighting, the makers manage to make the scenes come alive. As for the cast, Miguel Ferrer is great in the role of your typical cowardly guy in such movies. Mia Peoples dazzles the screen with her beauty, and Nancy Everhard is also decent in her role. The creature somewhat resembles a gigantic lobster, and even with a low budget, they put together some exciting scenes where the creature hunts down its victims. The director, Sean S. Cunningham, the man behind horror classics like Friday the 13th, does not let you down, and the element of suspense is always in the air. Don't go by the harsh criticism, and you will enjoy a great movie. Cold Skin, 2017. A young man goes to take charge as a weather observer in the watchtower of a remote island. He soon realizes the presence of some dangerous creatures that threaten his existence. Away from humanity, he and the island's lighthouse keeper must fend off these mysterious marine creatures by themselves. But why do the creatures attack? There is a secret that the young man is all set to unwrap. Watch this incredible movie to find out more. This movie is an exact adaptation of a Spanish award-winning novel, and the premise itself is enough to add to the eeriness of the plot. The cinematography offers some visual delights that you will thoroughly enjoy in this movie. The location of the remote island, the lighthouse, and the deserted surroundings will give you chills as you anticipate something terrible in every scene. The creatures, who are more like scary fish people, are intimidating and come alive with the first grade special effects. Their first introduction is when a gray-green webbed hand reaches beneath the cabin door during the young man's first night, is well shot, and makes you curious as to what is causing these attacks. This film is not everyone's cup of tea, but those who appreciate such solitary horror flicks will love it. Sphere, 1998. 
A team of experts is sent to probe a mysterious UFO that crashed somewhere in the Pacific Ocean. They descend to almost 1,000 feet below the ocean, and while exploring the spaceship, they find a strange sphere inside. Due to a storm on the surface, their support team has to leave the area, leaving them alone. When one of them approaches the sphere, his manifestations come to life, and the others must survive the threat. Will they live to find out about the mysteries? The psychological element in the plot makes it all the more intriguing. This film stars some of the Hollywood legends, like Dustin Hoffman, Samuel L. Jackson, and Sharon Stone, and they live up to the reputation with their performances. The creatures are scary, and the giant squids and killer jellyfish are well constructed with some decent special effects. The makers successfully create the ambiance of tension as you keep guessing if the team will survive. There are some scenes where you'll be wondering if it is real or a mere hallucination. Michael Crichton has delivered some classics, and there have been better adaptations of his works, but Sphere is also a feather in his cap and offers something different from the usual creature thrillers. Deep Rising, 1998. A group of armed jewelry thieves plans to rob a luxury cruise ship, but a nasty surprise awaits them. Once on board, they discover that a deadly sea monster that feeds on humans inhabits the ship, and half the passengers and crew are dead. Now, they must survive this brutal, tentacle, man-eating creature. When a creature flick is made, it's usually supposed to keep you on your toes with its suspense-filled, thrilling storyline. With this movie, it is a laugh fest that has a sense of adventure in the plot. They hardly show the monsters in this movie, and most scenes are about the monsters swimming along knee-deep water. The budget isn't much to speak of, and that hinders the quality of the special effects that have been used. The story is often bizarre and the climax is as far-fetched as it can get. The cast involving the likes of Anthony Head and Kevin J. O'Connor put up good performances, and the latter is hilarious in his role. Overall, Deep Rising will be enjoyable for those who love the comical B-grade action movies. Leviathan 1989. If you're looking for a film with a mix of 80s body horror and monster thrills, Leviathan is an ideal movie to opt for. The story takes a cue from Deep Star 6 and tells you the story of an American deep sea mining colony that comes across a sunken Soviet vessel. The crew soon discovers a horrible secret of a dangerous genetic mutation that starts to hunt them down one by one. With a hurricane on the surface, rescue operations will take time, and the crew must evade death till then. This is certainly among the better sci-fi movies of the 80s. It has the right cast, including Peter Weller and Richard Crenna, who put up an impressive performance in their roles. The special effects team does fantastic work, and you would expect nothing less from Stan Winston Studios. The gooey monster is fearsome, and there is a generous element of gore in this movie. As for the story, it is more like Alien with an underwater theme, but it still manages to entertain. This film has an interesting buildup, and you won't be disappointed if you give it a try. The Abyss, 1989. How many times have you seen a story that establishes alien contact underwater? Well, here it is one more time, but this time it comes in an interesting avatar. The story is about a diving team who is searching for a lost nuclear submarine. During their mission, they stumble upon a deadly alien aquatic species. Escaping alive won't be the easiest thing to do. When James Cameron is in charge of the proceedings, you can expect something amazing. And the Abyss is no exception. Despite the stereotypical plot, 
the movie has its charms, and the element of suspense keeps you on the edge of your seat. Considering the times the computerized animations and special effects deserve a special mention, try watching the original director's cut because the studio chopped out about 20 minutes of crucial scenes. The creature effects are stunning, and the use of special effects was perfected, as is obvious from the portrayal of this underwater alien entity. This is among the unsung works of James Cameron, and you might be pleasantly surprised if you check it out. Where do we go? Guys, what's going on? Keep the door closed! Keep that door closed! <laughs> Underwater, 2020. Some oceanic researchers are working for a deep sea drilling company. While they are several kilometers underwater, they are rattled by a mysterious earthquake, and their facility is flooded. As they try to plan their escape out of the water, they realize that the worst is not over for them. A dangerous creature is on the prowl, and the crew has to escape from this menacing beast. This movie is like a cross between The Abyss and Aliens. One good thing that the movie does is build anxiety among audiences. You will find your blood pressure soaring in anticipation of something all through the film. The cinematography was perfect, and the script had a few hilarious moments despite the serious tone. The most impressive thing about this movie is probably the VFX and SFX work that has been perfected to provide you with some jaw-dropping visuals of the creature. The use of shaky cams and the rough edit work adds to the buildup of suspense. Vincent Castle and Kristen Stewart are decent in their respective roles. In short, this is nowhere in the league of the aquatic horror movie classics, but it still deserves a watch for the sheer excitement that the plot brings to the table. Virus, 1999. The story of Virus takes place in the middle of an ocean, where an American tugboat crew steps inside an abandoned Russian vessel to explore. To their horror, the vessel is inhabited by an alien life form, and it treats them as a virus that must be destroyed. Can they face the might of these mysterious creatures and survive the ordeal? Moral of the story, when you find an abandoned boat, Think twice before stepping on board. You can ignore the generic plot of this movie, but you cannot ignore the top-notch execution. The film is helped by exceptional work by Tippett Studios, who make the CGI scenes look as real as possible. The creature effects are paid particular attention, and a significant budget went into perfecting these scenes. Jamie Lee Curtis and Donald Sutherland were amazing in their respective roles, and despite the lack of originality, the movie never offers a dull moment, with an impeccable musical score, mesmerizing cinematography, and a spirited performance by the cast, the movie has a lot to offer despite its flaws. Come on, get some! Endless Descent, aka The Rift. 1990, a submarine is sent to recover another missing submarine. It is led by Captain Phillips, and once they reach the designated spot, they get entangled in some toxic seaweed. On further exploration, the crew discovers that there is an air-filled underwater cave close by, and the government conducts some sinister experiments there. Now, the crew is faced with deadly mutant sea creatures that look to destroy them. It may sound easy and simple, but the making of an underwater thriller is no mean task. This movie successfully executes the plan, although it does derive from other movies of its kind. There are some good actors in the mix of things, and the performances by Jack Scalia, R. Lee Ermey, Ray Wise, and the others leave nothing to complain about. The special effects are handled well and there is not a hint of incompetence when it comes to the portrayal of the deadly creatures. The starfish monster in particular is well constructed. Despite the harsh criticism that this film has faced, we suggest you give it a try. Shut the fuck up. 
Dagon, 2001. This movie is a loose adaptation of a story by horror legend H.P. Lovecraft. The plot revolves around a pair of vacationing couples who are stranded on an island due to a boat crash. They find the island to be extremely strange, and some weird-looking half-fish, half-human creatures are the inhabitants. These creatures worship a strange fish god and its eerie half-human offspring. Can the couples get off the island unhurt? We all have grown to admit that Lovecraft knows his ways around creepy stories. Dagon is no exception, and he builds an atmosphere of fear that you will unknowingly surrender to as you watch the movie. There are some gross and obscene moments that are not for the faint-hearted. With no shortage of tentacles and creepy half-human, half-fish creatures, this movie is all about instilling in your mind the fear of the unknown. Besides the graphic violence, this film has a significant amount of nudity. What stands out is the quality of special effects that have been used to project the creatures. If you are up for a Lovecraftian horror classic, Dagon will definitely satiate your thirst. You must treat me with respect. Ah!